Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will explain how I connected my switch panel on my boat. You can get these panels everywhere. There's different ones. Just make sure they're waterproof. I usually order mines off Amazon. One viewer saw on one of my previous videos called making your own boat console that I connected the dash lights of the panel to go on only with all the lights of my dashboard and gauges and asked, how did you connect it to do that? Here we go. These panels come usually pre-wired, but I modify some wires so it works the way I want it to work. Okay, first thing I do is remove all the plus VE battery wire connected on pin two of all the switches but leave it for the three top sections, which are voltmeter, USB charger, and 12 volt charger. So let's take the ground out of the way. So we'll take the yellow and black wire, so wire one and two, and connect it to ground. Now, for the top section of the switch, wire three. We'll want to connect it to fuse box called with IGN, with ignition. Please look at my other video for fuse box explanation and connections. That will power your voltmeter and your two other plugs. I have painted them in red for visual aid. With that done, we can start connecting stuff on the switches. Now, we'll use the switch completely to the right for this example. Let's connect all lights of the dashboard and gauges to pin 3. So we are looking at wire 4, and of course, it also needs to be connected to ground. We need to bring power to the switch. I will connect it on fuse box with IGN, only ignition. I want the lights to go on only when accessory keys on. And also, the switch needs to be on. Here is how I make my dash lights and panel switch come on with the rest of the dash lights and gauges. The blue wire, wire six, will go connected to the first switch to the right between pin three and six. Now look carefully, I have the switch on on. Look at the front view and you'll see the lights that go on. I'll turn the switch off and you'll see what happens. And then we'll turn it back on so you get a good idea of what the lights are doing on the switch. I will turn the switch on and off a couple more times. Don't be shy to pause the video. Take a good look at the wiring to understand it well. Now would be a good time to please ask you guys to like and subscribe. Okay, now we'll do another example. We're going to connect a bilge pump. So you can look at wire 7 and 8. Wire 7 will be the one bringing the power to the switch from fuse box always on. And wire 8 will turn on your bilge pump when your switch is activated. Here I will give you another example. We'll connect the stern light. So you can look at wire 9 and 10. Wire 9 will be the one bringing the power to the switch from fuse box always on. And wire 10 will be the one that turns on your stern light when the switch is activated. Now we notice on the front view switch that all the dash lights and the activated switches lights are on. Now we'll do the same exercise where we turn off the first switch. And look at the results. You'll only see the LEDs of the switch that are activated that are on. The dash lights are closed. Now we'll turn it back on just to see what happens. You'll see that the LEDs go on and it works the way it's supposed to. All right, I think you guys get the idea. I'm still gonna flip that first switch to on and off so you guys can see the results on the front view switch. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I will get to them as soon as I can. 
I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. Have a good one.